got some fresh lemon and ginger from our garden. Hello friends, welcome to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very unique recipe. It is a delicacy and that's lamb chops. So let's get started. So the ingredients that we need are two lemons or limes, garlic and ginger, lamb chops, I'm using a rack of lamb, lots of spices that I'll cover in detail, yogurt, butter, honey. So let's get started. So for this recipe, I like to make my own fresh garam masala, but you can also use a ready-made version. However, I will cover my garam masala recipe with you right now. Spices that we need are 1 star anise, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 4 cloves, 8 to 10 black pepper, half an inch cinnamon stick, 1 whole black cardamom, 1 bay leaf and 1 to 2 dry red chilies. Dry roast the garam masala and grind them coarsely. The most important step in making the lamb chops is the marination. So first and foremost, I'm going to take one cup of yogurt. I'm going to stir up the yogurt. To this I'm adding one tablespoon of the garam masala that I've shared the recipe with you. One tablespoon of cumin powder. Half a tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli and half a tablespoon of tandoori masala. I'm going to stir it all up. One teaspoon salt. Make small slits in the lamb chops with a fork or a knife. And now add the lamb chops to these one at a time so that they're really nicely marinated and covered with the yogurt and the spices. Now I'm going to shift the lamb chops on one side and start preparing with the other part of the marination. I'm taking five garlic cloves. I like to crush the garlic and ginger fresh with a pestle and mortar because it brings out the flavors. Now I'm taking about one and a half inch of ginger. This is fresh from my garden. Peel it, cut it into a few small pieces and crush them with the pestle and mortar as well. So let's add the freshly crushed ginger garlic paste to the marination. Now that the ginger garlic paste is made, I'm going to chop two limes. Friends, did you know to get the most juice out of a lime or a lemon, it's always a good idea to either have it at room temperature or in warm water and that will bring out the most juice in the lemon or the lime. Alright, now that we have squeezed two limes into the marination, I'm going to also take three tablespoons of unsalted butter that I have already melted and put that on top. I'm also adding half a teaspoon of pink salt or rock salt to the marination. And last but not the least, I'm going to put my secret ingredient and that's one tablespoon of honey. You should marinate and uh, mix the lamb chops really well in the marination because that's what brings out the flavors and the actual taste to the lamb chops. Also, I like to leave the marination overnight if I have time, but at least minimum for two to three hours. It is now time to layer them, um, to grill them in the oven. I'm now going to put all of the leftover uh, marination that we had on top of these lamb chops. I'm putting them in at 425 degrees for about 10 minutes. I'm going to now turn around the chops. You can adjust the cooking time to your oven and also depends upon how cooked you want. If you want it medium, medium rare or well done. Furthermore, I'm brushing a little oil after turning the chops around and putting them back in the oven at 375 degrees now for 8 minutes. And finally, they are nicely done. Wow, these sizzling lamb chops look young and juicy. It's time to toss a fresh salad. I'm going to now sprinkle a little chaat masala on top of the lamb chops. 
all right friends so our lamb chops are absolutely beautifully cooked and i'm going to plate them with some freshly tossed salad bag it with garlic butter again made at home and some of our french fries please check out the recipes for all of these um, also on my channel and always remember eat naturally live happily